Hello, I am taking time out of making Christmas puddings to uh, say to all Americans who might be watching this, I'm sorry, it's a little later than I wished, so I uh, assume that most of you won't see this until after the festivities are over, but I do want to wish you all a, a happy Thanksgiving. There are some things for which you may give thanks and one of them, the best news I should think most of America could have had, even the ones who don't know it, is the fact that Nancy Pelosi is choosing not to run again. I'm assuming that her party has told her that maybe her husband is a little bit of a liability. There is one thing, when I heard that, you know, I'm here in Britain, it doesn't really make a lot of difference to me whether Nancy Pelosi is Speaker of the House or, or whatever. But there is one uh, image that sticks with me. And as a matter of fact, I'm obviously not the only one who was struck by it. While I was busy making the Christmas puddings, I was watching a Dave Rubin um, podcast or videocast or whatever they're called, and he broke the glad tidings that that Nancy Pelosi was not going to uh, maintain the position she has. And uh, he said that of all the horrible things she'd done, the one thing that stuck in his mind was that tearing up of the speech, which was the one thing that occurred to me at the same time. Um, and uh, so, and, you know, I'm going to play it here now. It struck me at the time as being, well, it wasn't disrespectful so much to Donald Trump as to the entire idea of American democracy, the entire basis upon which the Senate and the Congress are standing, the, found, the foundations. That is, he's an elected president and embodies the state in a way and and you uh, you have to at least pay some respect to that even if you don't like the man personally and that tearing up unfortunately is going to um, it's going to change the way things happen because that rule of showing respect having been broken it will uh, it will happen again now because there is that precedent and it's right there in people's heads uh, it's she she's changed the nature of the house for ever after oh, hang on a minute It wasn't just the president that she was disrespecting there. And it should have caused howls of outrage, which might have inoculated uh, this, uh, inoculated the American political process for later attempts at infection. But instead, nobody said anything apart from some, and I suppose Fox News must have done it, but it was actually approached with some admiration by the, uh, the, the Trump opponents in the media, and there were plenty of those. It was a terrible thing, and it's done an awful thing to America. But she is gone now, and perhaps there may be some talk about this sort of thing in the future, and maybe there might be something for which to feel hopeful. Anyway, Thanksgiving, uh, as much as I know about it, seems to me to be a holiday as much about thanking for the good things that have been provided at this time and also for hope that more of those good things will be coming up in the future. And I do hope that Pelosi's resignation or an intention to resign is is a harbinger of better things to come and also something about which you can really give thanks. 
All right. Well, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And uh, yeah, enjoy the Alka-Seltzer. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.